morning and welcome to Math in the Morning with Ms. Susie. Let's start out with some active math movements to get our brain energized and focused for the day. This movement is for skip counting by threes. It is called the threes twist. Here's what we're going to do. Take one hand, cross it over, and touch your toe. Then you're going to take the other hand, cross it over, touch the other toe. And then we're going to clap three. So the directions again are to cross over and touch one toe and the other toe and clap three. And we're whispering on the numbers one and two and three is loud. Three. So it sounds like this. One, two, three. Great. We're going to count from one to thirty doing the threes twist. Ready, set. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, math movements and these cross body movements, it's because in our brain we have a corpus callosum that goes between both hemispheres of the brain. When we do a cross body movement, it integrates both hemispheres of the brain. And this helps us to learn at a faster rate and also to remember information. It also helps us, our brain, to stay focused and energized. So the more movements that we do, the more cross body movements, the better it is for our brain. Now we're going to use the skip counting by threes mat to solve multiplication problems. So the question might be, what is four times three? And what that means is four groups of three. We're going to add up four groups of three when we solve the problem four times three. Let me show you what four groups of three looks like. Here we have one group of three. One, two, three. Here we have another group of three. One, two, three. So this becomes two groups of three. Here's one group of three. Here's another group of three. Now let's see what three groups of three would be like. One, two, three. So that's our third group of three. And you can see from the dots. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three groups of three. But we're trying to figure out what four groups of three is. So let's go on and find another group of three. One, two, three. So that becomes our fourth group of three. And we have our dots here. One group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three four groups of three. So when we're looking at four groups of three, how many is it? It's 12. Therefore, four times three is equal to 12. Let me show you how to jump to figure out six times three. Remember, this is six groups of three. Come to the zero and stand on the zero and I'm going to make six jumps to figure out what six times three is. Okay? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times three is 18. Now we're going to play a fun multiplication game. I'm going to toss the die and see what number I get. Then I'm going to use that in my multiplication question. So it is 3. So what is 3 times 3? I'm going to go to 0 and I'm going to make 3 jumps. 1, 2, 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Now we're going to use a bean bag to play another multiplication game. Starting at zero, I'm going to toss the bean bag. It landed on six. 
So what times three is equal to six? One, two. So two times three is equal to six. So what happens if your beanbag doesn't land on a multiple of three? Or in other words, on one of these big red boxes. Since the beanbag landed on 11, which is not a multiple of three, I'm going to move the beanbag to the closest multiple of three, which is 12. So what times three is equal to 12? Let's figure it out. One, two, three, four. Four times three is equal to 12. Thanks for watching Math in the Morning with Miss Susie. For more materials like this, visit mathandmovement.com.